Boom. And we are a go. Yay! Hi right, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. Gabriel is POV, and Gabriel tonight, Razor, is missing. He is uh, not feeling well. And uh, so, oh. Wow, so, this has been updated a little new, bit. If Hal is, uh, has a YouTube channel, and you can look on my channel, it is featured channels list and you can see a link to his channel and you should check him out and for the folks watching from my side the same is true for deandra and everybody else who has a channel if uh because a couple of these guys are just live streaming and some of them actually are maintaining channels so definitely go check them out and if i don't have your links up there guys uh, send them over to me <laughs> so i can get them at it because i'm having trouble finding everybody sometimes and B uh, got us a bit more organized here because we have all these nice crates here up on the ceiling. I am now noticing that. Signs to mark where everything is so we can find things. <laughs> hey, Gavin, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good evening, Sadie. Thanks for the uh, the patience. We we're running a little bit behind on my side, so my fault. It was all my fault. Blame me. It's okay. So I'm going to show everybody some hidden loot so in this house that we're in if you come back to this room he the, back here he put the door in didn't he huh where are you he at? put the door in what door the hidden door oh i thought he had a i thought he had a hidden door back here i don't know i don't know if a hidden door but but there's this uh reinforced uh concrete wall Mm -hmm. But you can go through. I don't want to break through reinforced concrete. It would take years to get through that stuff. So I'm going to go through the wood. Right. There's a hidden room back here. <gasps> a hidden room? Yep. Lord it. Now, is there actually like really good loot back here? Well, there's a safe that, that I've never been able to open because of stone axe, you know? Nice. And there's two um, cardboard boxes. So, potentially good loot, I suppose. Very cool. I guess the space would be good if we could actually... I got canned food and a doorknob. <gasps> Look at this. Pretty cool. We've been here, no, we've been living here for two weeks. <laughs> had no yeah, idea. I didn't know here. <laughs> yeah, so how, how did you find this one? This is actually pretty cool POI, but no. Well, in my um, solo game, I was knocking down walls <laughs> and uh, I found it. Nice! Yeah. It does kind of make you wonder if that means there's something back behind the uh, cobblestone here too, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think that there's anything there. There's this little um, area over the kitchen that's doesn't have a, a floor above it. Hey, everybody check if you have a bed because I destroyed someone's bed when I made this wall of uh, storage crates here. Yeah, yeah. it was mine. Uh, I got it. Okay. I was going to say, mine, mine. mine was up on top mine. too, so. <laughs> I, I only okay. destroyed one. <laughs> I, need, uh, I need mechanical parts. Does anybody have one? Have which? Hello, hard Parts are all in this last one right here, Gabriel. See where it says parts? Hardest if we have any. Like a hipster cowboy. That's what it is. <laughs> I look like a hipster cowboy. But yeah. there's no such thing. Bite your tongue. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing your tank top and your shorts and your cowboy hat. <laughs> well, you know, and considering I, I do live in the Bay Area, it's, it does look kind of appropriate for the area, too, so. <laughs> What's sad is I actually know somebody in uh, in real life that kind of not necessarily looks exactly like this, but does tend to wear things very similar to this. So, uh, maybe I was subconsciously influenced by him. Boy, this guy can sure take a hit. 
somebody hit me with a spike club like that, I'd go down in one hit. Not this guy. Hit him four times and he's still fighting. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, who's he hitting with a spike club? Oh, wait, he must be outside fighting zombies. That's right, I'm protecting you guys because I care. Hey, greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, Elsie, madam, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy Monday or Tuesday? I guess for you guys it's Tuesday now, huh? <laughs> Gavin, I believe that would be called flamboyant. Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, it's it's a nice shade of purple. It's not it's nothing too garring here, you know. It's... <laughs> All right. All right. So now you you guys are talking about setting up uh, basically taking off and setting up base somewhere else, right? Go exploring for well, new just bases. Yeah, find another town. See what we, what we can find. That's what we're talking yeah. about. Just see, right. just, you know, some place new, place where we can loot and... Um... Gabriel can make iron tools now, so hopefully we yeah, can beat our way into some more interesting... There are, yeah, there are ranches uh, in the forge. Are there? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. I'm gonna grab one of those really quick. There you go. Deandra. Mm -hmm. On the floor. On the floor? Yeah. In front of me. Oh, behind you. Wow. No, oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. You know, oh, the organization thank you. you guys have done is absolutely phenomenal. Woo! Thank you, Gabriel. That is wonderful. My OCD thanks you all for the uh, amount of work you have done in organizing this place. Oh yeah, that was driving me crazy. How? <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, fingernails down the chalkboard of my spine, of my soul. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, Ooh, um... Nice, thank you. The disorganization of, of all our stuff was, was irritating me too, it was making me feel disorganized so having it organized feels good all right so hmm. now do we have i just found a deer and he's he's really slow it must be <laughs> it must be the weather that you know the time of year you know maybe it's mating <laughs> season they they just slow down a little bit it's very convenient <laughs> look at that down he goes Nice. Glad to see that's working out. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Oh. Need to fill it up. <laughs> nice. So what you're saying is that you want Deandra to wear the uh, the wife beater shirt. Sure. One of the folks. Oh, yeah. One of the folks watching from my side is basically saying that the cleavage is spectacular. It just needs to be filled out more. <laughs> No way. <laughs> well, welcome to my side of the house. <laughs> oh, Cole, do we need Cole? Harger's pillow bling. Harger says, what? No razor tonight? Your know, razor was feeling under the weather, so he went to bed. Harger says, you're all too calm for the zombie end of days. It's yes. day 24. We've got another four days before the zombie horde shows up again, so. Yeah. I, I just drink a lot. It keeps me calm. Yeah. Well, hopefully Razor feels better. I know uh, Sophie will be upset. Yeah, yeah Razor has has his fan club. Well, yeah. Oh, he's got his very own fan club. <laughs> oh, there's a... Uh, what is that? The bunker down the well thing here. Did we go down there? I don't remember seeing this. Well, it's very difficult to get into that thing. Um, it would probably be Oh, because, yeah, iron. downstairs. I don't know. Downstairs, it's, the, it's a steel door, isn't it? So, have you seen the other bunker now? Um, I don't know if you've unlocked one, if you found one here in this, seat, in this spawn yet. But there's one that looks like uh, basically like a, a water pipe has been broken or something laying on the surface. 
and then a couple blocks away there's a single block hole like this one here uh, that has a ladder that goes downstairs into a very small reinforced concrete bunker. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, if I see oh. it, I'll, I'll point it out. I ran into one in uh, one of the multiplayers that I was running around in before. One of the different ones. And it was the first time I had seen it, and I think it may have been introduced in the last the uh, the update before the fifteen two formal update. So it's a so vanilla. It's a vanilla prefab. No, it's a um, it's a true survivor uh, bunker. Compo. It's one of the POIs that Spider put in. And yes, basically, you know the the water pipe uh, items that you can get, yeah, right, that you can make. Yeah. Basically, it looks like a couple of the water pipes put together, laying on their side on the on the ground above it. And if you look down in the mm -hmm. hole that it looks like it fell out of, there's actually a bunker down below. Yeah, I'm, I see some I'm collecting tires, like by the way. I've got eight tires now for you, Gabriel. Nice. Make it nine. Wait a minute. Check out this mysterious thing that I saw earlier and couldn't get through with my stone axe, so maybe this will be... In oh, somebody has opened it already. I wonder where it goes. So are we still um, in need of feathers and such? Always. Yeah. Okay. Because it looks like some of the nests in town here may have actually respawned. Uh, you've got somebody coming down to visit you. Yeah. Now, zombie, you're cheating by being inside me because I can't, I can't kill something that's inside of me. I mean, that's just physically impossible. Well, whoever looted this didn't value iron or food very much. <laughs> or cloth. <laughs> I don't know who looted this before. There's a gun safe in here. But I found some cloth, some food, and... It's a 16. <laughs> it's a what? <laughs> Blue just came in saying, Oh my god, it's a 16! <laughs> Oh, that's a whole lot of nurses. Hey, nurses, how you doing? Oh, Alright, I'm all full of tires, Gabriel. Gonna... I'm gonna bring them home and melt them for you. Yeah, Found one tire makes... Yeah, one tire, I can make two tools. So... Oh, I'm grabbed, this is bad. <laughs> I think that's more than enough. Yeah, I have... Yeah, I made you on next. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven tires. Cool. I'm gonna go find me two. <laughs> you okay, hey, Hal? Man, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm okay right now. I'm just. All right. I have a small wound and pain, so that's actually not good. Let's see here if we can. I got a wound too. Uh oh. Now, did I pick up a? I guess that. Zombie yes, that did. came down there and attacked me. Did it. Gotta go, gotta go. Whoa, what is this building? I haven't been in this building either. <laughs> and we're gonna use that. Wow, I seem to be wearing the uh, milk bone underwear today. Milk bone? Yeah, aka the meat pants. I've got a just a crap ton of zombies following me around out here again. Um... Meat pants. So welcome to the stream, folks. Hello, if you Auntie. are just joining us, I am in here with Deandra. Razor is unfortunately not here today, but we do have Gabriel and oh, oh god, sorry, zombies. <laughs> Lots of zombies. Oh, but just to show you everybody, we got going on over here today. We got Fields Above, Gabriel, Deandra, myself. Unfortunately, S'more, Rob, and uh, Razor are not here tonight, but that's okay. They're with us in spirit. It sounds like they died or something if I say it later. <laughs> You're killing everybody. <laughs> I, I put all the I put all those tires in the uh, parts box for you, Gabriel. You can do it with them Thank as you. you wish. And hello everybody. Blaine says, so is finding the new bunker a challenge goal for the stream? 
Well, kind of. But I figure it will either show itself to us or it won't. We just have to look for the pipe. But since it's Cold. random, it could be anywhere, I imagine. So we'll just have to look for it. You know, if we see it, then we'll know to look for the entrance. Hey, Travis, but, how you doing? Uh, Welcome to the stream. that's playing true survival and early game of course if you find a forge it's a very good thing so in this um area here i have found a forge and i don't even have to break all the way into this room i can access it from here and use it sweet just wanted to show the stream out for their edification. Good to hear, Travis. Hello, and yes, Crypto. And yes, Crypto. Sadie, I agree. It'll be fun even with Fraser isn't here. <laughs> Crypto says, what is this game about? Well, it is the zombie apocalypse, Christo Crypto. And you have to survive. It's all about surviving. So, the civilization is in ruins. Um, Blaine says, so official goal, find something if possible. Use it, use it, use it. Got it, thanks. Crypto says, it reminds me of the ring seven days. I don't know what that, what the ring is. You mean the movie? You mean the movie, Crypto? Crypto says, love zombies. Okay, here comes the zombie, Crypto. So she wants to eat my face. And I, I have an objection to that. So I got to fight her. And then I can loot her body. And she gave me some fat, which is essentially useful, but it also smells and attracts more zombies. And so then I'm going to use these feathers to make arrows. And uh, that zombie just pooped on me. And well, yes, Ren, this is this is a private deal. server currently. And some water because you have hunger and thirst in the game, and you can also uh, die from freezing or overheating. Uh, Arjo says they quote try unquote to survive. LOL, mini death. <laughs> yep, it is true. We've got zom zoms. Na, 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 na. Uh, I'm baking up uh, 100 water for our trip. Maybe if we had two campfires, I could make some tea while I'm at it too. Why don't I try that? So, yeah. Sadie, Sadie said, Deandra, most people uh, take offense to having their face attempted to be eaten. Yeah, I, I kind of am partial. I'm, I'm kind of partial to my face. And, and so when the zombie wants to eat, eat my face or eat my brains, I, I have an objection <laughs> to it. Gotta go. I will make a chest so we can take with us. Oh, like some secure storage chest? Yeah. Yeah, Yes, the film. It's because you put seven days to die. Haha, yeah, thanks. Oh, he's, running, he's running, he's running. Game. Well, you're welcome. And uh, that zombie just exploded. Yeah. The game is available on Steam. Sometimes you can get it on sale. Uh, the normal price is around $25, I believe. Yeah, something like he keeps bringing it up. Yeah, so I mean, just like last month, it was on sale for nine dollars, you know, nine ninety nine or something like that. Yeah. So uh, if you have Steam, you should uh, put it on your favorites list, and when it's on sale, they'll let you know. Yeah, it's definitely or one of those. If you really like it, you can just go out and pay the full price, which yep. is what I did. 
I think it's worth it. It's full price. It was worth every penny. I agree. Yeah. It's a really fun game. Yeah, and the nice thing is is that it's got a really good community of mod authors, so people are always coming up with new things to add to the game, so even if you find the uh, the vanilla game a little lacking for some reason, just take a look around and you will probably find somebody who is doing something along the lines that you would like to see. Um, I've seen TCs on this, like total conversions on this thing, that are pretty pretty bloody impressive. Have I thought about doing Rust PvP stuff? I actually used to play Rust PvP. Um, I used to be really, I used to really be big in PvP for a very long time, not just in Rust, but in other games like Eve, as well as uh, Shadowbane, uh, some other, some of the other PvP-based games. Um, over time, I just kind of fell out of favor with it, especially in games like Rust, because it's one of those if you're away from the game for too long. You fall, you fall off of the uh, the edge, and it's really, really hard, if not impossible, sometimes to stay competitive. And with the way that a lot of games have gone now, you know they they have what they call like alpha tribes or alpha clans, depending on the game. Once you get a, an alpha group on your server, it's almost impossible to get anything done if you're not on good terms with them. So, hey, Silver, how you doing, buddy? YouTube giving everybody crap again. Great. Gabriel, can you make a cooking pot? Cooking pot. Fruit just says he's from the UK. Nice. Greetings from the other side of the pond. Yeah. I think so. I actually found a building that hadn't been looted. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're watching from my side on YouTube, I apologize if the stream seems to be stuttering. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. It may be an issue with the, the service I use to rebroadcast. No, VOZ, I cannot. Sorry. Okay. No big deal. I got it. I got two of them going. But apparently everyone's saying that the Twitch stream is actually stable and smooth, so you... If you don't mind using Twitch, that might be the place to go check it out then. If you're having problems, that is, on YouTube. I'm not saying if you're on YouTube, go over to Twitch. <laughs> YouTube will kill me. <laughs> Who needs a new club? Um... Mine's 305, but it's mostly good. I'm about 85% still on it, so. Mine's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm making a 440. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Do you want my old one? Sweet. We've got chickens. Here's my old one. So many feathers. <laughs> no, just scrap it, Busy. Scrap it? Is that what? Yeah. Alright. Busy, you hmm. get a... you got a fire axe, right? I have an engineer's fire axe, yes. Yeah. You got a wrench? Yes. So I think we are almost geared up. I have food. I have the... I have my bed roll. I have water. Okay, let me yeah. see if there's anything I can go pick from the farm. Nice. All right. Well, I'll work on the uh, the stream quality for Wednesday's live stream. Um, it may just be something local, like I may have some something running on my network that I'm not aware of. Um, but I'll take a look into it, see if I can clean that up for next time. My apologies on this one being pixelated for those who are having problems. Hey Sharky, how you doing, buddy? I just 
this is okay going to be be right back oxy says hello gabriel hey oxy how this you doing says, get lagged a bit never got what you said lol uh said about what crypto What was the last bit you heard? Hey Travis, when am I going to do Space Engineers again? Um, actually, Space Engineers will be the second half of this week. These zombies are some... annoying. Oh. And plentiful. Uh, there's some challenges going on with uh, Imperion that I am taking part in, in in the new month. So we're doing some uh, prep work for that. So in order to get everything up and running for that. Dang it. I got puked on. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Harjar. How you doing, buddy? What is that from? Hi, right, I looted the working stiffs. Hi, Harjar. And hi, Oxy. Where can I order a pizza? <laughs> That's awesome. What was that about a pizza? Oh, uh, Sharky's in my channel. And he's he works uh, in a bank and uh, works like one of the information desks or security or something. And uh, somebody called him asking for help, asking where could he order a pizza from. <laughs> Yeah, I can make a good pizza. I had pizza for dinner. Leftover from last night. Yum. Nice. Yeah, I like cold pizza. The Italians wants to kill me, but I do like old cold pizza. Mine, uh, I used um, a vegan cheese. Archer just sent you a pizza on bean. <laughs> very nice, Archer. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so, do we have others somewhere? Um, I have picked up 62 that I'm trying to bring back to base, but I've got about as many zombies chasing me. So I'm trying to lose them before I come back, because I don't want to bring an army of zombies back to the base. Unless you guys want free XP, then I'll bring them straight there. But... Yeah, how many? Uh, well, none now. I've lost all of them. Uh, I was up to about 15 or 20 of them at one point, though. I was out killing chickens earlier, so I'm, I'm wearing meat pants again. Crypto you said off? you said my name and went off, so don't know. No worries. Well, I was talking <laughs> about how the game is really fun and you can get it on Steam. And the regular price is about $25, and sometimes it's on sale for $9. Um, did you hear that part? <laughs> Crypto says cold pizza is bad. Oh, cold pizza is awesome. Hello, what I are you eating? Exactly. And when he's saying pizza, cold pizza is bad, he's saying it's an 80s style bad. Like, it, pizza is bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, one eye Willy is on beam. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> That's an awesome name. <laughs> says, Hi, VLV. Plain ass. Do you know how to kill a vegan at a party? Um, no, Blaine. How do you, you just look at what's on their plate, and if they have all vegetables on there, then they're vegan? I don't know. Feathers. Feathers. Yes, yes. I'll get there in a minute. <laughs> they're fine. I'll put them in the ammo supply box for you. But, uh, do you want them, or...? <laughs> no, go for it. I don't have any, I don't have any arrows, so it's not gonna do me any good to keep any of them on me, so... No, if you want, I can make you a really good bow. 
Um, sure. I will not say no to a bow upgrade. My current bow is quality seven. seven I think I have about 50, 50 oh arrows. Blaine says, the way that you, says, he, Blaine asks, you know how to tell me you're not a party, and the answer is, you don't have to, you're telling you himself several times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. I mean, it's true, right? I'm vegan and I offend. I am offended. No. <laughs> what was that? Well, <laughs> I think there's a little truth to that joke. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No. Um, yeah, you hey say man, you're you know. a vegan, how? For me? Oh god, no. <laughs> go away! Go away! Don't explode! I have a friend who uh, she was basically allergic to pretty much everything that I eat because I eat a lot of junk food and uh, like heavy red meats and things. Um, like I eat a lot of burgers, cheesesteaks, that kind of stuff. And uh, a few years ago, when I when I knew her, basically she uh, had a problem with where she wasn't feeling really well, so I jokingly said, "Go eat a burger." And she uh, actually eventually got tired of not feeling well, so she went and ate a burger, came back and said, I hate you. <laughs> so she felt better, didn't she? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she used, to, she used to swear that I was uh, some like a reincarnated dragon or something, because I, I could live on just basically meat. <laughs> it's just meat like... Meat is so good for you. <laughs> it is awesome. Of me. Me and fat. Hey, Chili, thanks for the subscribe, man. Appreciate it. Oh, well, that sound scared me. <laughs> just that sound was someone subscribing to you, Hal? Yeah. Just one and a half minutes, Hal. Silver, Silver says, if God wanted us to be vegan, he wouldn't have made animals so damn tasty. <laughs> So I keep forgetting what I'm doing here. I'm looking for stone. I don't see any there. So now, is there a place you want the mini bike wheels? Because I've stone got five here. Hmm? Oh, stone. Um, we've been putting them in this parts box here. In the parts box. Okay. Um, the one box I didn't open. Can I'm scrapping you? I'm sorry. Sharky's saying I like grown food. Well. When it's grown on a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I am a full-fledged card-carrying member of PETA. People for the eating of tasty animals. <laughs> As my sub count suddenly drops for some reason. <laughs> what I really said is I've had this game since 2014. Stopped playing it after about an hour. Just started playing again, hoping to learn more by watching. Yeah, when you, when you first play it, it can be pretty overwhelming and intense. I mean, the first time I played it, I played it about 30 minutes, and then I had to stop and have a break because I was just so wound up from playing it. <laughs> so, but I went back to it after a break. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those one of those games that just kind of grows on you if you're not careful and uh, will take over your life. Hard. Here. Hmm? What's up? Here. Alright. Um, the card box. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Oxy says, I asked That's... what everyone had for dinner the other day, and I can still remember what everyone had. I have a sponge for a head. So clip everything. Wow. Thank you. I will put those to good use. Screamer. Yeah, hard drive. The bamboo thing only works in uh, on the Twitch side of the house right now. I'm still looking for a good solution for both uh, Beam as well as YouTube. So, wow, oh, lots of zombs, zombs outside. Yeah, she's coming. Uh... Holy crap! Yep. Yeah. It'll help. Working on it. 
Oh, it's getting pretty late. I guess I should come back. I didn't finish looting this scooby now. I pulled, I pulled like three of them off of you. Uh, maybe, four, uh, maybe four of them. That should help a little bit, I think. Hey, Padre! Hey, Padre! What's a vegetarian cannibal eat? Plant growers. Maybe Scorpot can do it. Samurai. Don't know what that is, but sounds good. Dying the spikes. Maybe. Hey, hey Hardjar, can you send me a link to that bot? Um, uh, either on Twitch or on YouTube or something. Got them all? Awesome. Thanks, buddy. I'll definitely take a look at it. Um, I've been looking at a couple of them. There's one that does YouTube and Twitch. Um, but they require some information and access on the YouTube side that I don't want to give them, so. When I There's... ask, is this solo? Yeah, I had that same problem. You can play solo or you can play cooperative. In this particular game, we are I'm doing a co-op with um, a bunch of cool guys. Uh, <laughs> you know... Al, well, thank you, ma'am. And Gabriel. And some other guys who aren't here tonight. Uh, yeah. Razor and S'more will be back at some point, right? But yeah, oh, sorry, it's night time. It. Andrew, are you home? No. All right, well, uh, I'm almost there. I'm cleaning up zombie corpse outside. Almost I'll be right in. There, almost there. I and can smell the candles burning in the night. What is that campfire at the entrance? Oh, I don't know. Been there since a long time. <laughs> yeah. I didn't friend you on uh, Steam hard drive? Yeah, send me an invite, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll add you to this friends list. I thought you were already on my friends list, though. Uh, now the horrors of trying to, s to put all this stuff away. Hey, hard drive. Don't know where you... anything is. Food goes in here. Are you my friend? And yeah. Add me, dude. <laughs> we can play some stuff together. Hi, guys. You guys doing all standing around waiting to greet me like that? That's very nice. Well, you know, we figured to give you the red car carpet treatment at least once in your life, right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that as bad as it sounded. <laughs> PC is always better, Padre, when I will listen. I find solo play very hard. Crypto says, never got games to my PC, but it's a gaming PC. When I will, he says, easier with more people. Yeah, it is easier with more people, except when it's harder. <laughs> All right. It depends. How's that, Silver? And some people might uh, make it harder. <laughs> Is that better? Sorry, adjusting volume. That, uh, a couple of people were saying that the uh, team speak was a little bit quiet, so. Uh... But the um... Flower and the seeds in here. Alright. There's no recipes for snowberries. Uh, there is actually. There's a snowberry, like, um, cream or something like that. Do you need a chem station or something? Um, 
I don't very know extract. You need some sort of station to make it. Uh, snowberry juice and snowberry extract. Hmm. Snowberry juice helps you survive cold, but should not be overused. Wondering, I took all the foods because I'm trying to trying to cook. How's that silver? Yeah, some of us are just soft-spoken, so. The berry cream is poison. Shh! Don't tell them that. <laughs> I hope I'm not soft spoken. <laughs> Lady, telling people that uh, the the snowberries is poison is like telling people Soylent Green is people. While some people know it, others will never listen or believe you. Or care. Yep. <laughs> no, it was uh, Beelzel. He was uh, he's a little quiet since he's soft spoken in the team speak. So I've got him at like mm. plus nine on the game now. <laughs> so hopefully that's enough for people. Which it's is really crazy. loud in my own headphones. It's just weird. So I think yeah. I tend to talk softer because it's so loud in my headphones. Maybe I need to work on that. I apologize. I will. <laughs> you can maybe turn down your, your headset volume or whatever. I don't know. Whatever works. Oh, uh, let's see. Oxy says, I have a gaming PC, but this game runs so badly for me. Uh, well, the graphics card has a big impact. So. Yeah, and the uh, REM memory. Yeah. Crypto says, so are they new zombies run fast and that or slow? Ha ha. Well, um... Some of them run faster than others. Um, and in a standard game, they run at night. And the one, they walk in the day. Uh, now we're playing a modded game. So, uh, each zombie will have a different speed. And, uh, so you some will be really fast and some will be slow. And you don't know until you meet that particular zombie. Okay, guys, settle down and chat there. Sheesh. Uh, are they all excited? Oh, no. I got a silver and shark here yelling at each other. They're trying to get me to rebalance audio a little bit, so. So, Gabriel, you, you were wanting feathers? Yep. I have 15 feathers. 16. Huh? No, but uh, do you need uh, arrows? Well, I have 146 arrows, so... No, no, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I got 19. Arrows in. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate the, the help on the audio balance. Every time I restart, it uh, seems like it resets things, so I'm never quite sure if the audio is coming out well or not. So. Oh, I still haven't found a trader post on Xbox One. Are the trader posts, did they come out in Alpha 15 or did they come out in Alpha 14? Uh, 15. I believe believe that the Xbox is still Alpha 14. Yeah. In which case you wouldn't find one, but... Um, Kevin! Hello, Kevin! Kevin says, I don't have a PC, I have to play on Xbox. 
bummer, Kevin, but at least you can play, so that's the good news. Oxy says, Soylent Green, my favorite food! <laughs> right. So now, has anyone watching actually ever tried the the Soylent uh, meal replacement? No. I've, I've watched someone drink it on YouTube. I actually actually did the uh, replace it for like replace your food for a month with it when oh, they were on they had just gone over to the the 2.0 recipe. It's actually not bad. It tastes like uh, basically liquid bread, kind of like a Guinness, just mm. not as sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm. What's the ingredients in that thing? Um, basically everything, including the kitchen sink. It's uh, it's just vitamins it's and minerals. Be bad for you. <laughs> no, it's actually it's realistically it's considered the like perfect meal balance thing. It's based on a two thousand calorie diet and it's all of the vitamins and minerals that you're supposed to get and they look at the absorption rate. Soy and... protein in it? Um I think it might I don't remember. Because they changed That's the recipe from time you. to time. That's bad for you. <laughs> Dan, I don't know. Do you, do you need uh iron arrows? You know, now I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, well, I just have stone arrows, so, yeah, Ooh. and I have trouble even getting feathers keep myself in stone arrows, um, so, no, soy um, protein isolate. Yeah, it's, um, uh, you know, really not good for you. I mean, I mean, some people will say that it's good for you, but I don't believe that it is. Um, and there's this uh, doctor on YouTube that I watch, and he says it's not good for you. Um, oh, I just crashed out of the game. Just standing here, not even touching the keyboard. Let's see, no reference exception. Object reference not set to an instance. Is everybody else still in the game? Yeah, I am. I wasn't doing anything. Hey, Aiden, welcome to the stream, buddy. I just crashed out. Nice, Silver. Yes, that is very true. We are animals, so we should eat animals. <laughs> Yes. And so if that drink doesn't have animals in it, it's not good for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's fake food. I mean, why have fake when you could have real? Well, it's not that it's fake food. It's literally the balanced nutrition. It's uh, all of your vitamins and minerals for a daily serving. Are they synthetic so. vitamins and minerals? No. No, it's all, it's all natural stuff. But it is actual mineral, so when they say that, you know, there's like um, algae oil and vitamins and minerals, there's basically a 100%, uh, th this is what they say on their website, 100% of all essential vitamins and minerals. Right? Now, when you actually get it, it'll tell you what all of the, all of it is, so you'll see, you know, like the potassium and all, all of that stuff is fully called out. But, um, I yeah, no, I, I, did it for, I did it for like a month, and I felt absolutely phenomenal while I was doing it. Yeah? Does anyone need uh, clothes? Were you, were you um, full? Were you satisfied? Or were you bored and wanted to eat steak? Um, after you get used to the idea of not chewing your food for a couple of days, it's it's actually really good. It was very filling. Um, if I tried eating something after drinking the meal, um, yeah, I felt like I was going to throw up. Because it was just, you get that over full feeling. Because they have... Um, the stuff that they put in there, the the stuff in it, because it is look at the ingredients. Yeah, because it's a lot of like plant based proteins and stuff, which is what you get from the soy, and it's just it's a very filling. Uh, well, drink, soy so. is, is problematic in itself because uh, if you have too much soy, it can create um, it can cause your um. Your body to produce estrogen, and if you're a guy, that's really not a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, no, they actually, um, I don't know if they ever did it or not, but at one point they were talking about doing two recipes, one for men, one for women, because of the daily nutrient requirements being different for, you know, for both genders. Yeah. Um, but the stuff that they were doing, like I said, I never had a problem with it, so I did the whole, you know, go to the doctor, get checked before, during, and after, and all of my nutrient values were where they were supposed to be pretty much on target. Again, you know, it's one of those, everyone's experiences are going to be a little bit different with it, so. But I was just tempted, I was, you know, curious about it, because it had, at the time, yeah. I mean, this was, let me see, this was, uh, what, about three years ago when I did it? Mm. Um, so I don't know if they have changed everything or not by now. I know that they do a liquid version of it now. That's basically everything's pre-mixed and you do it as a uh, meal replacement. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it as a full-time change out, obviously, because there's other difficulties you run into by not chewing food, your teeth start having problems and such, but, you know. But for yeah. what it was, it, was, it wasn't bad. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I guess actually... if you're... Yeah. I'm cringing here. Why are you cringing? Uh, because of the drink? No. Uh, people need food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am learning to become a chef. People need food. It's not moody. I, I agree with you, Gabriel. Yeah, we but need, I'm we need okay to, with we like, need a let's texture. Say, we need a know. texture, we need all of the ingredients, all of the everything. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, the, the biggest thing that I ran into when I was doing it was that if I was doing that and everybody else was eating, you lose some of the social aspect because while everyone else is, you know, having the food and they're chewing and everything, you're just drink, 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 you're done. And it's like, uh. No, no. Uh, the uh, molecular uh, aspects of every single protein and. Uh huh that you ingest to make everything you need in your body you cannot just mix it and make it a pure or a smoothie and uh, I don't know that's biologically that's that, not Audrey. it um yeah, I'm, I'm okay with, you know, like, let's say you wake up late, you're running late, you only have five minutes to get out of the door, you grab one of those meal replacement things, you're drinking your car on your way to work. I'm okay with that sort of scenario. But to have it for every meal, every day, that, I don't think that's healthy. <laughs> no, you need to mix it up. I'm not a... Uh... Yeah, like I said, I did the, I did it as just to see what it was like, and I really had no problems with it. Came back with my met all of my medical labs. I was being monitored when I was doing it. Oh, I had cool. no problems. So, like, there was no developmental issues of any kind. There was nothing health related from it that was negative. But again, you know, everybody first thing that they will tell you is everybody's bodies are going to be different. And oh, yeah. where it may not give one person issue, it may give the next ten nothing but problems, so. Alright. Krippen so. says, is he talking about clean out, which is water-based? And he's talking about soylent, something or other, it's, in, it's a meal replacement drink. Yeah. What's it called? It's called soylent. Soylent. Yeah, definitely not an advertisement for them. Like I said, I was just curious if anyone yeah. else had, had, had ever tried it. <laughs> yeah, hashtag not sponsored. But if they want to be a sponsor, <laughs> then just give us a contact, you know? Yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> I, can do a, I can do a month yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was definitely an interesting experience. And like I said, coming out of that, um, there were some things psychologically that I noticed that I think is one of the reasons why a full all-in conversion to that system would never be viable for long-term. 
because a lot of there's a lot of things that we do that are related to food that are social and you do lose out on that um because of the fact that you're like i said you you do a couple of drinks you're done and it's like well everyone else is sitting there eating there's also the if you do it long term you have to worry about you know what type of digestive system, uh, issues are you going to get because you're going from a process where you're eating so like solid food or semi-solid food into a liquid only meal and that has problems long term so you know or could yeah, develop into problems long term i don't think it's good for yeah. long term yeah um but I, like I, I said, wouldn't... I think it'd be fine if, if you, as an occasional meal replacement, but yeah. that I... So, are we ready to go out and explore? Did we get what we needed to get done? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Is that food done cooking? Uh, I didn't look in the fire. But I just ate some egg omelets and some... Ready to go. All right, Let me drop off some of the stuff I just harvested. One eye, Willie says people eat too much and don't lead active lifestyles. Fasting is good for you. Yeah, I, I, uh, I certainly. Uh, don't think that missing a meal is gonna hurt anybody. And, um, you know, some sort of um, uh, you know, an occasional fast. I don't think is a, an, an issue. Um, All right, I got food and water for enough for pretty much everybody. So yeah, healing. We can go. Kyle, do you know anything about mushrooms in this mod? Cause I have mushrooms out there since day five or six, I think, and they still haven't grown. Do they need to be um, in the dark, maybe? I have no clue. I have not done a thing with mushrooms in this game. Like, all my other crops have gone through, like, three rotations already, but they're still sitting there, not not finishing yeah. there. They, they may need to be, like, inside to grow. Hmm. Hello, boss hunter! Maybe they don't grow in sunlight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can just build a... If I could build anything, I would build a little cover over them. Maybe in a few weeks I'll be able to do that. How? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my what? bad English uh, turns to sometimes be like rude or anything. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't. I don't think you're rude. No, no. That I said like uh, you need substantial things and. Uh, you're okay, oh, no. Gabriel. Yeah, no, like like I said, I agree with you on the there are things that go on in physical food, uh, not necessarily liquid food, but like when you're talking about sitting down to a meal, there are components there that even if you are getting the base nutrient nutrient, you may not be getting the complex um, uh, the, like the protein chains that you would normally get from a cooked version of that material. But there's I think the biggest thing to it is the, the psychological and social aspects because there are a lot of things that we do that we don't seem to realize as people. When we sit down to a meal, there's a lot of interaction going on because, you know, as they say, the majority of our conversations are um, not necessarily what you say, but it's what you see and what you perceive while you're sitting there with people. And you Night lose Night a Oxy. lot of that aspect. So. Good night, Oxy. Night, Oxy. Hey, Oxy, Ready? have a great night. So, which hey, direction are we going? We're going cruising. Uh, so, we're going to go to the west. Are we all ready, then? Sure, let's go. <laughs> she says we're going to the west, everyone runs east. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're going to 
follow Beal because he knows where this town is. Well, it's about four kilometers, but there are some POIs along the way. I mean, if we wanted right. to go it's a different. Uh, so we should be good. Okay. <laughs> hey, Asian, how you doing, buddy? Crypto says you should only have sugar food in the morning and veg next, but never eat after six. Well, I disagree with that, Crypto. I don't like. What if you don't get up till one? Huh? <laughs> what if you don't get up until one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For example. Um, I never have sugar foods early in the day. I, if I'm going to have anything with sugar in it, I like having it in the evening. And uh, for breakfast, I like to have a substantial meal that has lots of animal protein and fat. Um, so that I have uh, energy. And... Okay, so what happened to all of my food? I seem to have lost my, sugar, my hunger. Sugar is um, I have, I'm carrying food, I need a sandwich. Okay. Yeah, I try not to, when it comes to like meals and stuff, I try not to tell people how to eat because everybody's body is different and it's something that I had to deal with when I was much younger was to figure out what balance works for me because for some people eating one large meal like in the early in the day and then small meals the rest of the day or inverse of that or no large meals just small meals throughout the day like whatever works best for your body as long as your doctor knows what's going on that's you know what's important yeah gosh this is i know i've gone this way before i just can't remember how Oxy says, leave a like on this video. Oh, I'm going to bed. Night, night, Oxy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. Crypto said, Good night, Oxy. I find this so funny. Zombie and talking about food. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, especially especially <laughs> since my character is basically starving at this point. So, <laughs> Where are you? Oh, you should have eaten before, before we left. I yeah, thought I just, did, uh, but apparently I was running around too much. Um, oh. Next... Bird's nest, I find I'll leave you something. Alright, well, I'm coming up the, the hill here. Who am I following? Yeah, I'm, I'm following you. I'm coming up the road right now. Hmm. Picking up wheels as I go. It just says fruits, I mean. Okay. Fruits still have quite a bit of sugar in them, but they are certainly better than than donuts and things like that. How do we get rid of the nah, in there? Oh, oh, thank you. I, I have plenty of drinks. I just, for some reason, don't have food. I, th I think you just have to keep... Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. I'm medicating the bandage or something, Gabriel. I'm... Uh, you know, eventually it goes away, but you know, it's like it will, at some point it'll say it's dirty, especially if you crash out and come log back in or log off and log back in, it seems to reset it and it's, it'll say that it's dirty or whatever. Oh. So. Hey, hey, Ann, how you doing? <laughs> I've got people chant Conan in the chat now. Great. I'll What's tell you that what, I, now? I've got people chanting for Conan in the chat. <laughs> oh my goodness! They want they want to they want you to play Conan, huh? Yeah. I'll do Conan tomorrow. How's that sound, guys? Have you been playing that on the Broken Ankle server? Or yeah, yeah. I, I I've been doing like even my solo play progression is over on the multiplayer server now. It just makes it more convenient because the game is ridiculous as, uh, it's basically ARC. I mean, you have the same problems with it, with the resource gathering and such, so. But 
it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Where's this? Oh yeah. <laughs> My bird nest. Two feathers. Aw. <laughs> Why don't you take the left side? <laughs> I'll take the right side. Low, because I've died so many freaking times. Like, I've died 16 times. Wow. That's the Ouch. most I've ever died in a game. How many times have I died on the server? I've died three so far. Have you ever played Mario? No. Mario? Yeah. You yeah. never played Mario Brothers? Wow. Any of the Mario games? And I hear times is like uh, a warm up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm mostly meant in seven days to die. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, like <laughs> this particular game that we're playing, and you know, I play vanilla, I play Valmod. In, uh, I mean, usually I have zero deaths. I just says, wow, 16, that is not like you. Bad zombies, yeah. And, and true survival, I mean, just in the very beginning, I died so many times. And, I mean, you know, sometimes you die just for the stupidest reasons. Um... Come on. There it goes. Got a deer. Sweet. Especially when you when you're just you start out and you're weak. You, you don't have good health and stamina. If you don't have nice spike club, it makes survival really hard. In this mod. Yeah. Yeah, this this version of the mod is, or I should say, this version of the game is very much based on your luck with the initial RNG. It's based on your what? Luck with the RNG, the random number. Ah, yeah. Ow. Come here, guys. Yeah, man. Where did you go? Yeah, my, Where did you in all my come most from? recent solo play, I decided to make a farmer. And of course. I end up in a snow biome, and so I haven't been able to do any farming. I mean, <laughs> I was like, well, I thought, well, if I play a farmer, I can learn the farming aspects, and I'll have food early game. Well, no, it didn't work out that way. Yeah. I have to say this. Toilet Z, yeah, I know, right? That is one of the things I liked about Valmod's uh, version of the class system in the game. Is that your, if you choose a combat class, you start with combat we uh, items. In this one, if you choose a combat class, you can't do anything. <laughs> it's like all your all of the skills that you. She get just shot around. me. Oh. Uh. That was rude. A zombie. Yeah. No, the NPC shot me. Oh, this NPC. Yeah. I was admiring her outfit. That was very bad of her. I was admiring her outfit and she just shot right through me. Ouch. So you took damage? Yep. But you didn't die, right? No. It knocked me down to 80. Where's the NPC dude? So Harjar has just mentioned that uh, apparently on Twitter there was an announcement that Contra is now 30 years old. Happy birthday, Contra. What's Contra? Make me feel old. Thank you. <laughs> Don't it's know what it is. It's, a, uh, it's an old bullet hell game. A side side scrolling game where you basically play these Rambo like characters that are uh, running around blowing stuff up and shooting endless waves of uh, bad guys. Ah. Oh. Well, that's not good. I got the I got the bear chicken. Oh god, got the bear chicken. Oh boy, freaking 
over here. Yeah. Being chased by a bear chicken and I stopped for feathers. Probably not a good idea, huh? <laughs> <laughs> If you go straight west, you'll pick up the road. Just follow me. Oh, go straight west? Yeah. Just come to my marker. There you go. Alright. I'm trying to. There's all these uh, zombies. Alright. Should we explore any of these side roads or just go straight to the town? Go straight to the town. Okay. Give the, you know. <sighs> so people are saying that they remember playing Contra on Commodore 64. I remember playing Contra in the arcade. Found the McDonald's Sega in your old toy box? That's impressive, Sharky. I couldn't afford arcades. I, I remember I. I tried to play an arcade game, I put a quarter in, and and I got killed, like, almost immediately. And, you know, it's like, I hadn't even learned how to play the game or anything, and I'm already dead, and my quarter is gone. And I'm like, this is this is a waste of money. <laughs> I viewed it as equivalent of, like, gambling. I'm just like, I'm just putting my money in, taking my money, and I'm not getting any <laughs> enjoyment. <laughs> So I didn't really play. What are being hit by? Until we got you? a computer. Oh dear lord. Okay, so you were standing next to me. There were no zombies around. You left, and I got hit by four zombies. Oh. <laughs> the game, son of a. Uh, I can't even blame Mad Mole for this one. Uh. Crypto asks, can you check out the cars for things too? Yeah, you can uh, loot them. And if you have a wrench, you can take them apart and get some extra stuff as well. And now I have a sprained leg for some reason. What the? Oh, mm. son of a bitch. <laughs> you great friend. Uh, uh, uh. I think that's the research building or something. I've got a wound, I've got a sprained leg, and I can't stop to take care of it because I'm being chased by zombies. Alright, I'll just distract the zombies. Oh, Can thank you. you. Look out behind you. Come here, zombie! Gabriel. Come here and eat my club. One zombie down. <sighs> and can I convert those to sticks by chance? And I spell the word splint correctly. Yeah. Says, Look at this game, reminds me of Mexico, haha, -ha, but zombies now, I have fear of walking dead in mine. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah death fi does fix this a broken game leg. It's like the walking dead. <laughs> it's like, what are you in the walking dead? <laughs> Thank you, zombie. We're gonna scrap that. So I, uh, I stopped get the to kill a deer, deer, so I've got 13 meat on me as well. There we go. Oh, alright. Let me get some bandages going here. And... we should be good. Don't ask 
can you take Sesame Zombie? <laughs> this is just crazy. Yeah, kill him, you can loot him. Juicy, I think we are in trouble. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get this, uh... I don't mm. think we're gonna get right. this deer. No, I got it. It's still laying on the ground for me. No, I got all the meat. It's, it's still, Thank you, Deandre. Um, it's still I'm laying good. on the ground for me. Or at least as good as it's getting for now. Alright. Where did you guys go? We had to stop and get Hal fixed up. Oh, okay. My garden is Yeah. And it's appreciated, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, in the zombie apocalypse, we have to stick together. <laughs> Busy, I'm in trouble. I don't know where you are. Okay, there you are. I'm running. And Sadie, to answer your question, he gets smacked. Do you need, quite um, often. do you need health or something? I have, I can give you a <laughs> bandage. Oh, like, carrying meat on my bar is not the smartest thing I've ever done. I think that's one of the buildings that I died in previously. Oh, I could be wrong. Where did I get all this crap from? You went into the, uh, what is that, the mall mill, uh, the sawmill or whatever? Is that what it is? Yeah. That's what it looks like. You got a zombie behind you, uh, got two of them actually. I hear air drops. Drop it right here on my oh. head. Come on, come on, do it, do it. Yeah, and it it's, uh, stop. like, right over here. I'm gonna go take a look. Okay, I don't have any inventory space. I'm, I'm really hoping that it's got a, uh, like a med kit or something in it. <laughs> yeah. What's your health at? Oh, no, it's not that I have a wound, so I keep getting the, the whole I can't run for extended periods of time. Oh, uh, do you need bandage? I have bandages. No, it has to be one of the medicated bandages, uh, first aid kit, or the antiseptic bandage. Oh, yeah. well, I have a medicated bandage. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have an airdrop. Let's see what's in the airdrop. <laughs> oh, There's an interesting yeah, base over here. What is this? There's some kind I of bunker. I assume that you had a medicated bandage because I've been putting them in the chest as the base, and so that everybody could have bandages oh. and. Uh... The food drop. So. Well, that's good. Drop that. able to pick everything up but there's a base over here did you guys see this one no i, I haven't been this? up that way what was it is it a cool base should we come over there a tool base it's like is... a farm or something i i am dropping the meat oh, oh i'll get it well maybe we could uh check that out uh... All right, well, I got okay. it. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll come and check it out, Hal, and because uh, I'm closer to everybody eh, else. It's fine. It was. It's actually kind of interesting. I'm betting there's a bunker in here. It's like like a community park or something. You know the um like the the co-op co style farms. Oh. But more importantly, there is a survivor over here oh. that I can smack to kill some of these zombies that are trying to beat up on me. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy! At some point in time, it would be nice if you'd start shooting at these guys. Not just looking at them. Oh, wow. I finally killed a pig. Alright, let me skin this pig. Okay, AI really needs to be fixed so that he actually defends himself. Who, the survivor? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's lots of times where I've had, like, a survivor outside my base, and he just stands there while a crawler just keeps hitting him till he dies. Right. Like, that's just not right. Hashtag tourists. Yep. Uh, come on, come on, let me move. There's the zombie. Alright, Hal is in this direction. I am wet and <laughs> I am emitting a smell. Yeah, so am I. Oh, that's close. We're, I'm in like the. A lot of zombies. I'm in the town. Yeah, I'm, work, so I'm working my way there. Farm? It's I'll put it on the I'll put it on the map when I'm away from all the zombies trying to eat my face. Okay. Oh, there's another survivor over there. Maybe Electrical you'll be useful. Wire. Oh man, the zombie just made the tree go down. <laughs> he puked on a tree. Nice. Um, if you keep heading due east, you'll run into it. It's like right in front of you. Come here, piggy. I know you want to be eaten. And I'm just the person to fix you up. Come here, piggy. Mm. Oh, piggy oh, look at went that. Away. Flagstone book. Yeah, there was one of these places uh, at the little crossroads back there. Um, oh, nice. Hoping she'll uh, shoot the bloated walker that's following us. Doubt it, though. Oh, nope, yeah. she is. Nice. I'm dead. I think I put the wrong speed for the stag. The stags are moving really slow. Did she kill the bloater? She killed the bloater. That. Dude, you're my new favorite survivor. All right. Um. Yeah, let me get rid of those. Where are you, Gabriel? No, I don't want those. Thank you. But you are coming with us. All right. Since it's going to take me a while to get there, I'm going to start heading west. <laughs> so. Because this wound, for some reason, is insisting that I need to die slowly. Alright. Got zombies coming at me now. Can we make a door? A uh, trap door? A hatch? I cannot make and I have no stamina because I just use all my stamina to in a deer and it made my knife break by the way so I'm gonna need a new knife mm. be right back lung candy time <laughs> enjoy your smoke buddy Deandra and Hall. Yes. When you guys get to the city, let me know. Huh? Alright. What are you doing? Oh, it just died. I put my bat in the middle of the street. I'm waiting for reinforcements. Right. Holy cow! Did my bed went bonkers? Uh, no, but there was a very big explosion. I, I came up to where your bag is. And there was a very no. big explosion, but your step bag away, is still... This Conan Exiles on top, on top of... Oh, for the game in the live stream, yeah. Your bag is still okay. I unfortunately can't do a whole lot about that right the second, Sharky. I've got a few too many zombies around. And trying to get enough of the yucca together. Uh, 
Oh, I guess we should put bag bag down here somewhere, huh? Gabriel, your your um, avatar is sliding on the ground. It's there you go, shark. Make you feel better? It's very pathetic. <laughs> Do you have any uh, iron? Do you, anyone have an iron pickaxe? I do. I do. Can I borrow it for a second? Yeah, Sharky. The the Twitter thing pulls yeah. from a really old instance for some reason, and I'm not sure why it refuses. Let's go over to, update, to this bank here. But every time the live stream sends it out, it says it's Friday for some reason. B. No matter how many times I reset it, so. I know. Got it. Thanks. You just have to click the link there, Asian. Uh, I'm gonna take the bottom rung off this uh, bank here. We can hide there for a minute. Catch my breath. We've got zombs, zombs. Come here, buddy. Na, 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 na. And remember, if you see aloe, pick it up. I can make you bandages. <laughs> All right, come up. All right. There's all sorts of aloe around here. I have I put a bunch yeah, of it into... It <laughs> I'm also looting the bird's nest. Yeah, I'll, pick up, I'll start picking up aloe and then, because I was picking up the uh, yucca and stuff, but... Right. I am slowly making my way towards where you are B. I have low stamina. I've um, to deal with some zombies. And, oh, and I just cannot resist picking up this aloe here because yeah, know, I need feeling. it for making <laughs> bandages. Now do you just, is it just aloe and uh, the bandage or is it aloe extract or something? I have to make aloe cream out of the aloe, and and then I combine it with a bandage. Oh, nice. There you go. And uh, make some medicated bandage. Yeah, I'll pick up. I'll start picking up the aloe then. I really need to get rid of this wound. It's kind of annoying. I'll make some. Oh, no worries. Nothing wrong with trying to make every day Friday, yeah. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that, more rockets. Alright, let's see. Leave me alone, zombie! That zombie keeps following me and puking occasionally. How s'more? I haven't talked to s'more um, since last week, so I couldn't tell you. The last time I talked to him, he was doing well. Still tired because of the twins, but other than that. This side of the lake. Uh... Oh, now I got two, two pukers that like me. Deandra, I thought everybody liked you. Uh, yeah, but these guys really like me. Like, they want to eat my brain. Uh, you mean the restraining order kind of like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if they want to eat me for dinner. This little marshmallow army. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have to sell him that next time I see him. And Deandra uh, Silver said, at least they uh, they like you for your mind, right? No, yes, they like me for my mind. <laughs> <laughs> How 
lot of stamina. Yeah. So that is one thing I hate about this mod is that all of the status effects that are negative stamina or stamina regen, like everything makes you slower. Body is good too with extra lemon. Yeah. Oh, righty then, Sharky. See my previous comment about restraining order, kind of like there, buddy. <laughs> so, how much aloe do you need for the extract? Is it just uh, two or four? I think five. It's, uh, five. Five? Okay. Five for each. Oh, there she is. Uh, it's it's kind of expensive. You'll think you have like enough aloe to last a century, and then you find that you can only make you know a few bandages, and you're like, what? All that aloe would only get these many bandages? I want more. Yep. Okay. I've been taking a aloe Twice. bird's nest. Need to figure out what's why these AI don't react the way they should be reacting. Which, which AI is that? Uh, I've got one of the AIs with the SMG, but she's just kind of following the zombies around. I don't know if it's mm. that she ran out of ammo or what. I don't know. I've seen them do that sometimes. It's like frustrating. I'm like, whoa, whoa, why don't you kill him? Right. I went over, smacked the zombie so that they wouldn't kill her, and then she just started following everybody around. And you know what? I'm gonna let her die, I think. Because she is gone simple on me here. Ow, that hurt. Yep, yep she died. What have I'm out here. you guys found over there? I haven't explored yet. I uh, just I I climbed on top of a bank. I built a supply chest to dump all my junk in and put down a bedroll, and that's as far as I've gotten. So is it? Uh, it's not a. Is it a sort of normal sort of town? Yeah, it's not a hub city. It doesn't look like. What kind of biome is it in? Uh, so far, kind of. Desert. Oh, crap. I hope it's this damn limp. Really? Uh, I shall check it out some more. Um, not desert. You know that that biome that sort of looks like desert, but not quite. Oh, they opened up the shamway for us. How convenient. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Did you do that, uh, Gabriel? No, I'm trying. It's open. Front door's open. Hey, do I have any food? Oh. Uh, oh. We need a popping pills. I picked up the feathers for you. Oh! Zom zoms. I've only got six health. I'm slowly dying because of this limp and wound. Um... Are you not even... Where are you guys? Okay. These okay, zombies are dead. Apparently I'm... Give you a medicated bandage. Alright. Let me drop Put... off a bunch of aloe for you. Once you have the bandage up. You got a bedroll down? Nope. Here's well, a back at the base. Um, There's the aloe. Put a bedroll. You're down to 5%. Yay. This cream Thank going. you. What is this? Why? Yeesh. That was really annoying. Thank you. Why, Jay? I wonder what this building is. I'm gonna need claw too. Um, I have to claw. But so if you, you know, if nah, find claw, got, then I've got five way. cotton. So, but I used the cloth to make the splints because they kept breaking my leg. So. All right. Uh, I'm guessing we go this way. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Crypto says, looks pretty good this game. Like the fact you have to get things in that. Yeah, there's a lot of XP in this town. You know what I mean? Yeah, zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Think good? Oh, we got uh, scavenged parts in there. Oh. No drama. All right, so I need a place to drop off a bunch of stuff. It looks like somebody has a bedroll over near Gabriel. Okay. Uh, that probably be a place over here. If you go a little farther, you'll see a bank, and that's where I set up camp. Oh, there's a popping pills. Maybe we can get a chemistry station. Very nice. I'm going uh, in. I see the bank. Did you set up in the bank, or did you set up in the house? On the roof of the bank. Okay. Okay. Next to the carport, there's a... Except that we can't, uh... We can use the chemistry station, but we can't... We can't it. grab it? No, not in this it... mod. Yeah, you're destroying it if you break it, I think. Arg, arg, arg. I see the ladder, but I'm not seeing a bedroll over here. Yep, it does have a chemistry station. How do I get to the roof, you know what Huh? Where is the Where's the ladder? ladder? Yeah. On the it's bank? Next to the carport. Yeah. You'll see there it's two uh log cabin log uh frames up here. Over here. Ah. I see. There you go. Yeah. And there's a there's storage a... crate up there and campfire. Um uh, storage crate up here somewhere? Uh, I don't see a storage crate. Look harder. Oh, found it. It's over here. <laughs> Hit it. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I just dropped off a bunch of uh, raw meat. You got 29 raw meat in there now. Sweet. <laughs> a, tender, a couple of tenderloins, uh, four rockets, and some miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, Gabriel found a deer, and you found a deer, and we got. Now, is anybody building flagstone, or want to be building fl flagstone? Hmm. I've not looked into that. Why do you uh, uh, bring? Why do you mention flagstone? Because I have the book. <sighs> you have the book. You can make uh, flagstone block, stairs, cabin ramp, and arrow slits. Nice. And since it's coming up on seven o'clock my time, I'm actually going to start getting out of here because I have to go make dinner for uh, for Mrs. Howe oh. and myself, obviously. So that's time. Now there's nice. eight meats in there. <laughs> We're nice. Be well fed now. Very nice. So let me drop off. I'm just going to go ahead and dump everything I'm carrying. Uh, yeah, I can make way. another case if we get too disorganized. Don't worry about it. Well, the, the reason I'm thinking this is because this way, if uh, you guys move on or head back to the other base, when I come back, if I have to, I just kill myself and teleport back over there. Oh, you haven't put a bed down. Yeah, I guess that would work. Yep. And this way, the the food and items are here in case somebody else needs them. And I will leave the flagstone book in there in case somebody wants it. If no one else wants it, then I'll read it when I come back. Yeah. <laughs> Is the sky orange for anyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Just me. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it almost looks like the day, uh, like a day seven horde thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but more peachy, peachy colored. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So this town doesn't look great. Yes, Silver, we are. All right, so on that note, I'm out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic night. If you're watching from my side, definitely swing over and uh, hit up Deandra's stream. She, are you going to be streaming for a little while longer? Um, not very, not very much longer, but for a little bit.
All right, well, go hit up her stream. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and follow her as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what the hell are you doing here? No, I'm just kidding. Make sure you hit those buttons, hit the likes, leave comments down below. And uh, as always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Yeah, everybody uh, watching, uh, check out Hal's channel. You can find it a link to it on my channel's list on my page. Well, good night, Hal. Good night, Bye. everybody. Bye, guys. It's getting late. Is everybody right. safe? I have turned off my stream. I am out of here. I have a great safe. night, everybody. Okay. See you Wednesday. Yep. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah. yeah. I'm making... Making some chess. Just to be. Okay. Um, I'm just checking out the town. There's some buildings that look interesting. But it looks more like a vanilla town than the. than a modded town. Yeah, it looks like a vanilla town. But there are some modded stuff here I can already see. Yeah, there's a couple. What's that building? Yeah, this looks like a cool couple of cool buildings here. I wonder what's in them. Besides zombies. We'll check that out in the morning. <laughs> Cause right now did any did anyone find a cooking pot along the way? No, I have a grill. A grill? Yeah, we got we got a grill here. Let's see, maybe I'll get lucky in this little place here. Yes, I got lucky. Ha. Found a cooking pot? Yep. Now I just have to get it out of here with my life intact. Blueberry yucca glazed meat. I me. Wee! All right. Hello, kids. Look at all these storage chests that are locked. Mm hmm. Cooking pot. There you go. Cool. We can make drinks and such. He's got a huge happy grin. He's got a huge happy grin. Crypto says, uh, love how you can run like Superman. I love how it's so rough living. <laughs> yeah, it's a survival game, Crypto. Says, well, have a good night to you and who you're streaming with. Night all from me, Crypto. Bye.
about trying to wrap this up and um, get uh, some rest. And uh, so, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It will flash at you or change color or something. And uh, if you're watching on Twitch or Bean, follow me. And don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, DeAndre D. Night night, hard jar. Night night, crypto. Night night, huge happy grin. Why does huge happy grin get such a amazing uh, performance out of you there? What's going what? on? Huge, huge! You have the best song out of Deandra. Yeah, I never got that. Yeah, Even me neither. It was just a, just a subscriber watching. I wasn't <laughs> playing. I never got that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he does have a. You do have a great name, huge. So, I guess that's it. at the moment. I don't stop and analyze things. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think like Gabriel. Gabriel. No, that doesn't sound like. Uh, yeah, I just... A, I mean, Huge Happy Grin is like it's a song in a name. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, I just learned cobblestones. Does that mean we can make cobblestone now? Yeah, I can make cobblestone too. Sweet. We can start planning our, our where we want to build. Right, our chateau. Yeah. I can make the tools to mine for a stone. Awesome. Oh yeah, cool. So we can mine and we can build something now. That's Crypto pretty. Says, I just have to sub for that. Yes, subscribe, Crypto. <laughs> okay, night night everybody. We'll see you later, alligator. We'll be uh, doing this again on Wednesday. At the Royal Crocodile. Yeah, at 8 Eastern, which is like 5 Pacific, I do believe, right, BZ? Yep, 5 Pacific. We'll, we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye bye. I'm straight.